Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of the Ride Share Entertainer. Sorry for so long. Um, have not done videos in such a long period. I'm so sorry. Um, I've obviously been making moves. As of you know, um, as of last year, September, I went back to doing UberX. Now, um, I've been absorbing in my last, what, eight months of going back since the pandemic. Uh, the pay rate is not the same as before. Um, I'm watching the news. I'm aware of everything going on. Um, it's sad because I invested 11K on a 2013 Toyota Corolla, okay? I put maybe six grand down, and my balance right now is currently at maybe four or three, give or take, which obviously I'm going to end up paying that off because I recently just downgraded to an older vehicle, not eligible for UberX and only for delivery purposes, packages, stuff like that, shopping. Right, and of course, number one, which is far most more important, my privates. Thanks and shout outs to the ride share professor who incredibly taught me a great deal of business ship and entrepreneurship. And I'm so grateful these tactics worked to my advantages, and it is going sky high, sky's the limit. Um, thank you, ride share professor for educating me on that. I just currently downgraded to a 2005 Toyota Camry, low low mileage, 90K, just for all deliveries and privates and shopping purposes, right? So good thing. Well, you don't need a dealer's license to get out of these jams, which Uber is obviously corners, cornering us in, uh, making slaves out of us now. Uh, this Dara, it's really bad news. Um, the voices are being heard now throughout the states, throughout the whole country. I'm hoping here in Connecticut we do the same. I'm going really hard in my area, in my little market, because I'm the only Uber driver in my market. Okay? I had to leave. Now there's going to be a lot of stranded people. And it's because it's Dara's fault. Okay? You're going to give us peanuts we're going to go on strikes. We're going to go on rants. We're going to air you out. We're going to expose. Right now, I don't care. You could deactivate me. I really don't care. I do need my Uber Eats, though. That's my bread and butter. But do what you have to do, okay? Dara, all right, you want to try this bullshit? You want to lowball us drivers? And, and come on, I don't know what's going on. But I'm even telling the reps, yes. I'm putting in my resignation. I quit Uber. Okay? I quit, well, the Uber X platform. I quit. I put in my resignation as of yesterday. Okay? It's done. No more. Until maybe next time. And I did it with no deactivation. None of that. Okay? I still have an active account whenever I decide to go back. Whatever the case is. But I don't see that happening no time soon. I'm currently I'm gonna put my 2013 Corolla back on the market. I put 22k in miles of depreciation. Well, that's not that much, but within an eighth month period, I think it is. Um, it could be worse, right? It still looks great. No scratches, none of that. Um, it's still good to put on cargo rules, right? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it with that and. Uh, Please, drivers, be smart, move smart, think smart, just stay on top of the game, man. Don't don't let these CEOs, you know, depreciate your asset, man. Just you're not billionaires like them, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't let them fucking fuck your shit up. Excuse my language, you too, but psh, I'm fuming right now. Like I I'm so glad I got my privates because it's, this is insane. I know privates is not like an ongoing thing. Like you have your own app or, you know, your own local app where you could get riders. My best bet right now is to just put advertisements on papers, local papers. Uh, that's your best bet right now, guys. It's really bad out there. I hope these strikes continue to move forward. And I'm going to catch you guys on the next and keep you posted. 
I'm even going to give you a walk around the vehicles that I have. So you can get an idea and don't have to depreciate your new car. It hurts your soul. Let alone what these suckers are doing to us, man. It's it's not worth it. Right? You know, just because we got all these little EIDL checks during the pandemic, what they're trying to do is now they're trying to lowball you because they think you got they think you're financially set. Don't don't let that happen. Catch you on the next note. Like and subscribe. Please comments. Please leave those comments. I need to read comments. I need to know what the hell happened to Uber. Obviously, I'm sure Lyft is the same way. Um, I'm 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 not a Lyft driver because of, I don't know my record in the past somehow keeps popping up. It's like twenty plus years old, dinosaur years, like. And I don't know, like, but anyway, that's neither here or there. I really don't care about Lyft or Uber at this point. Please subscribe. Catch you guys on the next. Don't let them get to you.